Welcome to the New England Wireless and Steam Museum. So we're here at the New England Wireless and Steam Museum in East Greenwich, Rhode Island, and we're standing inside the amazing collection of some of Rhode Island's heritage. These are industrial steam engines primarily, large and preserved in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Rhode Island was a lead manufacturing company. This engine is the, built by the Harrishoff Company. People know the Harrishoff from sailboats, America's Cup winner many times. Uh, but they, before they built those boats, their primary business was steam-powered boats and steam engines. This is a great example of the late 19, 1800s, late 1800s engine that was sold to the U.S. Navy in torpedo boats. There was narrow, fast, uh, chasing uh, type boats. But this engine ran for almost 80 years on land at a copper refining plant in New York City. It, it is uh, 400 horsepower. The claim to fame of these Harrishoff engines was they're fairly lightweight. This doesn't look lightweight, but uh, this engine will put out 375 horsepower, whereas some of these large, much larger uh, mill engines were maybe 100 or 150 horsepower. This is a feed water pump. The uh, boilers were under pressure, but the steam would go to the engine. So these are high pressure pumps to pump water into the boiler because it's under pressure. The engine I have my hand on is the oldest known George H. Corliss engine in the world that's still operating under live steam. If you come here, in the summer when we have our steam ups, we run this engine and uh, all this mechanism goes click, clack, click, clack, switch, switching the steam from this end to that end so that the piston goes back and forth, driving the crank, turning the big flywheel.